categories of networks when we speak about networks we are generally referring to three primary categories first one is local area networks second one is metropolitan area network and third one is wide area network first local area network a local area network is usually privately owned and combined links devices in a single office or buildings or any other campus it is depending on the needs of an organization and the type of technology that we are used a lan can be connected as a simple as two pcs and a printer in someone's home office it can extend throughout the company and include voice sound and video peripherals so currently lan is limited to few kilometers basically lans are designed to allow resources to be shared between personal computers or any other workstations the resources to be shared that can be include any hardware for example printer any software example it might be any application program or data lans are distinguished from other type, types of networks by their transmission media and topology what we are using in local area network lan will use only one type of transmission medium the most common lan topologies are bus ring and star topology and the second one is <coughs> metropolitan area network a metropolitan area network is designed to extend over an entire city it may be a single network such as cable television network or it may be a means of connecting a number of lans into a larger network so that we can easily share resources to a lan to lan as well as device to device <coughs> third one network is the wide area network a wide area network that provides long distance transmission of data voice image and video information over large geographical areas that may comprises a country continent or even the whole world a van that is wholly owned and used by a single company is often referred to as a enterprise network so this is the figure that represents the vans a switched van and a point to point van so this one is the switched van this diagram that represents the switched van and this diagram that represents the point to point van next one is protocols and standards protocols so what is protocol a protocol defines what is communicated and how it is communicated and when it is communicated there are three major key elements of a protocols are syntax semantics and timings syntax the term syntax refers to the structure or format of the data the meaning the order in which they are presented next one is semantics semantics the word semantics refers to the meaning of each section of bits fourth next one is timing the term timing refers to two characteristics first one when data should be sent and second one how fast they can be sent in data communication a protocol is a set of rules that is nothing but conventions that govern all aspects of information communication